So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 subject test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. 5. If f of x equals x squared minus ax, then f of a equals what? Well, whenever we have a function, if, func if it says the function is defined generally in terms of x, right? It's a function of x. But they want us to find f of a. So we have to plug in a wherever we see x in the original function. And if we do that, we get f of a equals a squared minus a times a, right? Because we're putting in a for x. a times a is a squared. So we have a squared minus a squared, which is 0. And that's always going to be true, so it's c. And this is a good example of, you know, think out, sometimes you can outthink a problem, right? You see it, it looks like it's too easy, you're looking for the catch, you're looking for the trick. And that probably is a good thing to be vigilant, especially on SATs and SAT2 math subject tests, because they do try to put in problems that have a bit of a twist, sort of throw you off. But sometimes it really is just a matter of answering exactly what they're asking. And here they just want you to plug in A for X, see what it turns out to be, and, and that's all there is to it. Also, it's only the fifth problem, and they get incrementally harder as the test goes on. So we, so we should expect a few easy problems like this one on the beginning of the test. If this was later in the game, we should treat it with a little more suspicion. Hi, thanks for watching. If anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help, drop me an email, leave a comment, or give me a call. I answer every message. And if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.